Hello students, this is your course welcome video to introduce you to your English 105 course. I'm your instructor, Amy Blau, and I just wanted to uh, take some time for you to get to know me a little bit and for you to learn a little bit more about the course in general. So one of the things that you should probably know about me, first of all, is that I love my dogs. I have two dogs. This is one of them. This is Janeway, and she's pretty barky. So if you hear dogs barking um, throughout the video um, or other videos in the course, it's probably her fault. So I'm really sorry. I'm obviously not a professional YouTuber. I don't like have a lighting setup or a microphone setup beyond this lovely headphone microphone set. But I definitely do my best and try to make videos that are short and sweet and get to the point. So, oh. So Jane wants to go now, so bye Jane. My other dog is a Bichon and she is fluffy and white and lovely, but she is kind of chunky, so she's hard to pick up off the ground and she's over in a corner snoozing right now. So we will let her be, but she might make an appearance in another video sometime. So I have been teaching for about eight years. I've been teaching college in some form for about eight years. I've been at ASU for the past three or four years. Big fan of ASU. I love ASU. I didn't go there um, for my education, but my husband currently is in the PhD program for industrial engineering. So we definitely love ASU and um, I'm excited to be with you as you begin your life as a Sun Devil. So Something else that I wanted to discuss in this video is the theme of the class. I generally don't do a lot of themed courses. Um, I know a lot of teachers like to do them. Sometimes, as when I was a student, the themes were a little hit or miss for me. So, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about them. They take a lot of work for the teacher to find a lot of interesting things to read, but I felt that this year I wanted to try something different and it was really important to me that we do this theme. So if you look through the syllabus you'll find that this semester we will be centering our studies around fact checking and author evaluation to combat clickbait and fake news in the media. So I hope none of you do a big eye roll like, oh, more fake news stuff, because I think it's really important. Um, it might be a tad over talked about and a tad overdone, but it really is saturating the media and the information that we get. So I think it's really important. So I am going to include links to some of these um, websites that I'm going to look at in the description box of the video if you want to take a look. but. It kind of started popping up on my feed that more and more teachers were centering their curriculum around how to evaluate sources because of the sheer amount of fake news that's out there. And so Times put something out about how even back in 2015, teachers were trying to do this. Um, and this website here says that colleges are trying to help students know what is a scholarly source and what is you know appropriate to use in their research papers. Now I know that you are advanced students so hopefully in high school and just in your own lives you've been able to kind of there's a free spirit oh sorry start to understand um, oh, what, a beard looking sharp too. what a good source looks like and things like that so I'm sure that you already have some basis of knowledge for this but it really is important my favorites we're giving you and a friend oh, ads so it really is important um, elementary school teachers are doing this college students are doing this because I'm sure you've seen the study floating around Facebook that says that college students can't tell the difference between fake news and real news and I'm sure you guys can but I think this is something that we can do to help lead by example and to help others. I mean, I am so sick and tired of reading about Hobby Lobby closing their stores and things like that. So this was just um, 
a couple days ago, this was last week or the week before, this was popping up all over my Facebook, and I thought, I feel like I read this before, and it was an old story from 2014 or so that got up again, and people are sharing this without simply doing a quick Google search to verify if this story is true or not. So I think what I really want you to understand is that this class isn't necessarily about politics. In fact, you can leave politics completely out of this class. That would probably be my ideal. I don't want you to think that you have to have a certain political view to do well in this class or that you have to cater to my political beliefs. As you can see, this is a completely non-political um, topic. Now, this particular website makes it political, but Hobby Lobby store closing is not necessarily a political topic. Something else that has popped up in my feed before um, is this website that looks good but is actually full of, um, oh actually sorry, I mixed them up. This one that looks like it could be true and is actually super fake. And this one that looks a little fakey with all the ads and everything, but actually turns out to be true. So this has to do with a beverage brand. So, I mean, nothing political here. And basically it says that the FDA has found human urine in Arizona tea products. If you drink those, I mean, this is something that you want to find out. And um, this is outrageous, says FDA inspector. So it's really funny because I just did, I saw this pop up on one of my friend's feeds and I just did a quick Google search and found out um, that the reason their costs are low is because of a very specific business model. It doesn't necessarily have to do with the ingredients that they're putting in to the actual tea or the beverages. It has to do with this really ingenious business model. Um, so I'll link those down below if you want to look at the controversy. But you can see that fake news is out there and people are trying to get you to click on things and trying to get your attention. Richard Lanham says that we live in an, an attention economy where people get likes or shares and that translates to, you know, a financial gain. And so people are trying to constantly get people to click on things and share things because that is really the economy that we live in, is where do we put our attention? And we need to make sure that we are putting our attention on important things. And, oh, here's another example of a non-political um, fake news idea, is that we're constantly being told that public schools in the U.S. are terrible, that we're the last in everything. And it's, it's a really interesting idea to maybe do some scholarly research and see if that's true. Um, and I thought it was interesting. At the very bottom, it says, people act as if alternative facts were invented recently. And the reality is that it hasn't. It, it's not just now that alternative facts or fake news have been out there. I think that they're more readily accessible than ever before, and people are unknowingly sharing these things more than ever before. But I think it's really important. So at the end of the day, I really feel like this is a good video. Part of me feels a little uncertain about sharing it because it's sponsored by a news site, by a media outlet, but I really like this video. The truth is our nation is more divided than ever. The truth is alternative facts are just plain delusional. The truth is the media needs to be held accountable. The truth is locker room talk is harmless. The truth is we need to put the safety of the American people. The truth is we need a full investigation of any time of corruption. The truth is you can see you get that nice little plug for the New York Times at the end there. But I, I really like this video, the idea that the truth really is hard to find now and it takes more time and effort in order to find it and share it. But I think that's a valuable skill to learn and I think it's something that you'll be able to take into your college experience and that it will benefit 
you. So I hope that you have a positive feeling about our course so far and you're excited to learn more about it. So I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day.